Now, when you think of extreme sports, you don't perhaps immediately think of show jumping. This may change all that, though. Thanks to Great Britain's show jumping success at London 2012, one of the legacies has been the arrival of the, the Global Champions Tour in the UK for the first time. This brings together the world's top riders and horses. This weekend it reaches the climax and it's one of the first competitive events being held at the Olympic Park since uh, London 2012 last year. Another legacy of the Games is an initiative called Hoof, aimed at getting more people into equestrian sports. So with this in mind, I went to get a, a show jumping introduction. Olympic gold medalist Ben Maher makes it look serene, so effortless, so smooth. But get on board one of these highly tuned, unpredictable animals and you'll see in truth, it's edge of your seat, adrenaline pumping, extreme action, with thick fences up to 1m60 ahead of you. Just recently in America, I fell off a horse, it rolled down over on top of me and I had a small fracture and uh, two ruptured discs in my back. It's horses and they're, they're big animals and accidents can happen. It's the rider's job to place the horse so that when he takes off he's in the right position for the, for the fence. Horses can change sort of speed direction, spook at something, so you just have to try and ignore what they're doing and stay focused. One of the legacies of Ben's and the British team's success at London 2012 is that the Global Champions Tour, famous all over the world, has now come to the UK for the first time, to the Olympic Park, organised by the Queen's eldest grandson. Formula One, Diamond League Athletics, I mean, it's essentially, there will not be a bigger show jumping event in the UK this year. Um, not only are you jumping for big prize money, you've actually got um, you know, you've got the top 35, 40 riders in the world here with their horses. At the other end of the scale, it's hoped the Olympic legacy and a new initiative called Hoof will get more of us joining show jumping yards. You don't need your own horse or too much experience. Well, I suppose I look the part, apparently, but that's the easy bit, isn't it? We've got to go in there, Dusty. I've tried polo before and can sometimes rise to the trot, but even a small fence here would be a challenge. This is how it should have panned out. But I'll come clean. Let's see what really happened, as I saw at first hand how sensitive and highly tuned show jumping horses can be. A wrong signal at the wall and she was off. Oh, no, please, no! Panicked by my reaction. At the turn, I did clear three metres, but without the horse. A soft landing and two exuberant boxer dogs at least helped my recovery. Are you all right? Seriously? <laughs> I think that's the end. But well, that just shows how hard it is what you do, <laughs> doesn't it? It is. <laughs> Basically, what you did is you panicked. And yeah. then she got nervous because you went like yeah. this and she shot the other way. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry, please. My fault. Despite what's happened, I do feel closer to this sport. I feel part of the show jumpers Olympic dream now. And I think I found my true level, perhaps, from mucking out, from looking after the palaces where the horses and staff live when they travel thousands of miles, to helping out in the salon, to cleaning the tack, we can all now get involved, even if we don't own a horse ourselves, as long as we don't mind getting our hands dirty. That's true, we can get involved, even if our riding skills are limited, as I've shown, and those horses were very different to the polo ones, the polo ponies I've been on before. I certainly Because the that. polo ponies are very obedient, aren't they, and they don't get scared. Yeah, they do most like of the work. You should get back on the horse. I didn't actually, I, I wanted to Ben to show how it was done again, just to say how smooth it was. But it's on BBC One, if you can't get down there to Olympic Park yourself today to get tickets, it's on BBC One between three and five. <laughs> I'm sorry. And also the red button tomorrow. I'm still tickled by the fact that you were, that as it was bolting, as it were, you were kind of pleading with it, you said please. Well, I haven't quite learnt to speak horse properly. No. But actually the worst bit was when I hit the ground and then it went dark and I realised actually it wasn't anything to do with the fall, it was the boxer dog that was on my face. Oh, God, just being friendly. Mike. And also the hoof initiative, if you want to get involved yes. via riding approved stables with proper instructors, hoofride.co.uk. Go on, give it a go. Good